MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. David, Swiss GT26, tell us about the capacity and the axes. Um, GT26 is a 25.4 millimetre capacity machine, six linear axis, two full C axis. The C axis uh, is obviously on the spindles. I know a lot about this machine, car, or people talk about this machine with the power that's available. Yeah, that's right. Two full C axis, as you say, on, on both spindles. But the main factor on uh, both of the spindles here are they're matched at 11 kilowatts. And is that different to a lot of other machines that might boast being able to machine production parts like this? Definitely. Normally on a, a standard slider you would see maybe uh, two-thirds of the power on the sub-spindle to the main spindle. So you could tackle slightly deeper cuts, bigger cuts, or the machine could run faster as a result of that? Yeah, and it gives you more flexibility to lay your part out. Okay, when you're making a part you need tools. How many tools has this machine got? On here as standard we have um, 40, 40 tool positions with up to 15 driven. So with the tools, how easy is it to change tools? How does all that work? Um, on here with the driven tools we have a modular system for the main and counter operation so we can switch options from the main side of the machine to the counter, counter spindle. And is that unusual? Um, yeah, it is, yeah. And how quick does that process take to go from one tool to another? Um, I mean really it's seconds, it's not uh, a long operation at all. So I notice you've also got a B-axis on this machine, what does that offer an engineer? Um, it gives you the flexibility. On the B-axis that we have, it can be indexed from 0 to 120 degrees and we have up to eight driven tool positions for use in main and counter operations. And with driven tools, how fast can you mill? Um, we have a 9,000 RPM as a maximum revs. So it's, this is a fast machine as well. If you were to compare this machine to, again, potentially other machines on the market, does it have the edge when it comes to speed? It's Dependent on part, obviously, but um, certainly it offers a lot of flexibility and, um, and power that isn't available elsewhere. Is that as a result as well as the, the placement of the tools? Because I do note here uh, we've got some tool stations uh, that are, there's a, there's a lot of tools on there which, and they're close together, so it means you can get to and from operations quickly. Yeah, on here we have a U-shaped platen, um, so chip to chip time across the platen is very quick. And equally, in counter operations, we have a Y axis with eight positions for uh, working in counter operations. Okay, and some engineers would say, I don't need a sliding head because I'm not doing production, but then they might think it would be good to have one. This machine bridges the gap, I believe, because uh, it offers non guide bush and guide bush capability. That's correct, yeah. We're actually running at the moment with um, a bushless configuration, but the machine can be switched between bushed and bushless um, in around 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's pretty quick. Now, for our viewers as well, what does that actually mean when you go from bushless to bush or either or the other way? Um, well, I mean, predominantly running without a bush, you will be looking at um, manufacturing shorter components. So you're looking at the same sort of ratio bar diameter to length as you would see on a standard fixed headstock. Um, but obviously with the flexibility, you can run the longer parts as well. So either or, if you're doing production or maybe you, or, or longer parts or shorter parts, this machine can cater for both of those. Yes, exactly. And up to 600 mil for the longer parts as well. So, Access to this machine is pretty bright, easy to get in, a good, a good point for you? Yeah, I mean, that's something that Tornos always try to do is have good access for the operator, good visibility. We have good um, natural light access into the machine and also swarf, good swarf clearance. Swarf clearance is important because you want to produce a lot of that quickly, yeah. which you can on this machine. What about things like coolants and lubricants? Um, coolants, we have a 200 um, litre coolant tank on here. Um, on a standard, we have a 20 bar high pressure system as well with five programmable outlets. And we can also have a 140 bar high pressure with a further four outlets. Okay, and with the, the, the very nature that you, you've already told us already that both spindles are equal, does that mean that whatever you can do on the front spindle you can also do on the back as well which gives you even more flexibility? Yeah, I mean you've obviously got those restrictions with regards to part length and how far it can stick out but yes that's exactly right. Control side of things, it is a FANUC control, offline software, how does that work with Tornos? Yeah, we have a standard FANUC 31i control on here, um, so we have standard ISO coding uh, with standard um, FANUC macros. Um, but we also have our TISIS offline programming system, which um, offers a lot of flexibility and also monitoring for the customer as well. So it, would that help an operator that doesn't have much knowledge of how to get the best of, out of a machine like this? 
Yeah, I mean, as part of the software, we have a, a graphic representation of the operation so we can clearly see the overlaps between the two, two uh, channels. Um, and that will obviously help to optimise the process. So if you're optimising the process, you're again reducing cycle times to get parts off the machine quicker? Yes, yeah. And also, as part of that, if we're, we're adding a lot of options, we can also do that virtually on the software as well, so we can make sure that the process we develop is going to be applicable to the machine. So in all, David, I know you've, you've had a lot of success with these machines. You've, you've sold them into the UK market. Why did the customers buy them? Um, I think mainly it was flexibility. The machine is very rigid, very stable. We see that um, from customer feedback. So those main elements are really. And when you say stable, if, does that mean that if the machine is going into an environment where temperature could affect the precision of a component, is, is that what you're, where you're going towards? Yeah, the, the, the build of the machine um, from the ground up really has been developed so that we stabilise the temperature of the machine as quickly as possible. We have independent um, cooling circuits for the spindles and the guide bush, so we stabilise those temperatures quickly. So there are various sectors that engineers are either working within or looking to get in. Can this handle components from pretty much every sector? Yeah, with the flexibility of the machine, the additional options, etc., then yeah, sure. And as with all Taunus machines, comes with warranties, backups and all those good things? Yes, definitely, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, David. Thanks very much, Paul.